Hey guys, Big Guy here. We're back at Gateway Classic Cars. We're gonna look at some new arrivals today and uh, see what else we can find here at Gateway here in Crete, Illinois. Hey guys, I found something you're gonna like. I just did a video on one. It's a Pontiac Fiero. And I uh, found another one. This is a real nice one. Let's see, take a look at it, see what you guys think. Okay guys, hey, we found an 88 Pontiac Fiero with a 2.5 liter engine and a five speed manual. And this is a pretty clean car here. It's the white, but I believe the tan interior, we're gonna look and see in a second. We're gonna look at some of this exterior and how well kept this car has been and why it's garnishing the price or garnish the price tag that it has on it. As we look at the back, I don't see much damage or any damage at all. Looking in the back area where the mid-engine is, and that's what these Fieros were about, mid-engine. The engine would be right there, right across. And you had a little bit of area of space right in here, but it was that small inline motor. You know, right behind the driver's seat. As we look down, I'm not seeing much damage at all on this car. So it looked like it was garage kept. Pretty clean. Nice looking vehicle. So go down the fuselage, those original Pontiac rims. Uh, it's got the Pontiac tag on it, the Fiero tag. Now let me go up here. I'm gonna take a look at, see what it says here. Cause I know you guys said you wanted to make sure you could get all the information. Okay guys, as we're looking in, we can see this is some really nice gray cloth interior. We'll get to look inside. Five speed manual there. You can see the tacks. You know, these Fierros only went up to 85 miles per hour. That was government standard on those um, We Drive 55, so. You never saw it pass a hundred. This thing appears to have AC and a AM FM cassette. We're gonna find out as we look at the other side. Oh yeah, this is a real nice Fiero. Yeah, like I called it, AF, AM and FM cassette with air conditioning. Everything you need on a hot summer's day. Nice little Fiero to get you where you need to go. Nice find. Hey guys, I just found a car that I always loved. A Ford product. It's a Ford Cobra. You know, the Shelby Cobras. Yeah, those two seaters with the cloth top and you drop the top and you just did whatever you felt like. Because it was stick shift with a big V8 motor and with the side pipes, and you know what I'm talking about with the big tires in the back. Let's take a good look at this one. It's a nice one, and I'm sure you all are gonna love it. Yeah, man, look at that front end. You always love the big open mouth, the catfish style open mouth front end with them headlights. Looking like it's ready to devour all the Chevy competition. <laughs> talking about, come on Corvette, I'm ready, I'm ready. Look at this thing I told you, man. It's nice. Look at those, look at the side pipes coming out. Huh? We're gonna do this side, man. This thing is bad. Really nice car right here. Yeah, 
Now, no, I don't know yet about those bumpers because you always see these cars with those skinny little bumpers on the back. I have to find out to see what happened to those. They're probably a part of this package that's in the car itself in the box. I'm sure it's kind of all kinds of accessories for this car, but we're checking out this beautiful Cobra here at Gateway Classics. We're gonna check out this car first. Look at that, side pipe's going straight across, man. I love this color, that dark blue with the white stripes. It's always a beautiful color on here. And then as we look at the engine compartment, this is actually a 351 in here. And it looks like I don't know what type of carburetor it is, but it's not like it's two carburetors. It looks like it's just one big four barrel. And with that, that's, that'll give you more than enough horsepower and speed. This car is pretty clean. I don't, I'm not finding nothing wrong with it at all. Oh yeah, this is nice. Real nice Cobra, man. When Carroll Shelby developed these cars and designed these cars, him and his team, they knew what they were doing, man. Those guys knew exactly what they wanted out of these cars, man. Because you're getting these, these headers going straight down into side pipes. Whatever this thing breathed in, it pumped right back out. You know, you were getting the more air, the faster the car went. So they knew what they were doing. Shelby was all about power and speed. That's why he stayed in business. Now let's take a look at some of this information here. As you can see, 69 for Cobra. And you see the price. For the 351 V8, five-speed manual. Before we go, we're gonna take a good look on the inside real quick. See what you get for your hard-earned money. I don't think that's an original steering wheel. You see the tachometer right there. Five speed. And like I said, probably in that box is where you're gonna find all the other accessories. Comes with your own little fire extinguisher because you know you're gonna be out there tearing it up. This is a beautiful car right here, man. And you find it at Gateway uh, Classic Cars in Creek, Illinois.